Good morning, me name is illustrious disciple of an angel. Neil Leslie Gilbert Williams Jack's nephew. Uh, I'm messaging on this post uh, about uh, public spending, uh, which uh, was based upon a feature on a program being screened on BBC One. Today is Tuesday, the 18th day of the month of June, year AD 2024. The time now is 08.39, anti-meridium. Uh, I've uh, just viewed on BBC One uh, uh, someone uh, there commenting about uh, two of the uh, political parties in Great Britain or United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland uh, not willing uh, to uh, increase public uh, spending uh, as, as an example the NHS and I thought well you know um, although it may sound or appear sorry uh, to be uh, silly I think well that's a sensible thing as uh, why would they need to increase the uh, public spending? I'll give you an example. Uh, in my planning, um, in the capacity of uh, company director, uh, my directorate in my um, <coughs> governance office uh, department uh, would involve uh, planning uh, to uh, price or prepare tenders and of course one has to analyze uh, the cost of everything so I'll be as brief as possible in my example as to why uh, they, they should equivalent to be audited and checked for uh, the, the, the accuracy and efficiency of public spending for example and of course the other public uh, areas um, could uh, would uh, be similar but I'll take, for example, NHS. If, for example, there's 100 billion citizens in the United Kingdom, then effectively uh, each citizen would have a price uh, put on their annual expenditure, expenditure for NHS. An example could be, for example, um, the I think I said a hundred a hundred billion citizens. If there was a hundred billion citizens, then um, the, the the way each citizen would be evaluated is by their uh, care needs. So an example would be uh, f for uh, an average citizen, uh, they visit uh, the uh, AGP uh, once a quarter, for example. Could be more, could be less. Uh, and the cost uh, of uh, the, their care uh, for the appointment slot would be the amount it is. So we'll think that um, if there are, uh, a citizen requires four visits to a GP and there's 100,000 uh, citizens, then one would need to have equivalent to four times 100 billion slots available scattered across the United Kingdom which will cost the amount that it does. For example, if the cost of uh, a, uh, a visit is, uh, per citizen is, can be made about 88 pounds, 88 pennies, uh, or 88 great British pounds and 88 great British pennies each year, uh, then effectively um, the, the price that they'll need to, to cover for the NHS spending would be 88 uh, great British pounds and 88 Great British pennies per annum per citizen. Uh, now, I would say that that would probably need to have uh, uh, an increase for uh, other care, such as accident and emergency departments and the uh, conditions which involve uh, consultations or regular consultations or investigation. Uh, now, for argument's sake, we could say that uh, it is requirement that, you know, a citizen has four visits to the GP a year. Of course, it could be more, it could be less, 
as an example and the cost of that is 88 great british pounds and 88 great british pennies then there needs to be four uh, uh, 88 great british pounds and 88 great british pennies multiplied by 100 billion is the amount that it is which is moving the dots twice blah 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 blah, blah to mathematicians which i won't say the figure because it's only um a, 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 an example so effectively uh we could say well you know the uh, that will be the spending the, the absolute minimum and uh the uh the cost of uh care for uh treatments and consultations and accident and emergencies could say be covered uh, by an increase in the 88 uh, great british pounds and 88 great british pennies um, by a percentage uh, or it could be say uh, covered in the income uh, the, the revenue through the revenue so the national insurance contributions uh, would uh, cover the, the spending for that so that trickles in weekly fortnightly monthly and other so effectively and and so on so effectively i would think that um you know that would be the basis of the spending and i would think that if they refuse uh to uh commit to an increase of spending for the expenditure of the, the citizens then it's because it's uh, the the spending has exceeded the 88 great british pounds and 88 great british pennies of course uh, i would i would think if i was uh, planning uh, that um uh, that uh, the uh, uh the the same would apply uh, to the other departments for example um the mot on a police vehicle um um the fuel for the the, the, the its service operation which reflects on the mileage as well for example um if it was uh if the insurance which is how i price my insurance is um that the, a vehicle is used say uh 12 hours a day then it will be 12 uh multiplied by 30 miles an hour so that would be 30 miles an hour 30 multiplied by 12 multiplied by 365 would equivalent to be the mileage for that vehicle so effectively, I don't know if it's the same with the fleet management, but effectively that would be how it's based. It shouldn't exceed that by very much, if at all. So effectively, that would measure the the uh, the um, the time and the the, the currency of that. Uh, again, the cleaning costs will cost this much. Uniform cleaning, uniforms, and so on. All totals, for an argument's sake. <clears throat> oh, sorry, for the sake of my uh, my point. As an example, to another uh, public uh, sector, uh, the the cost of um, delivering uh, the police in a in a in a county um, is uh, uh, the, uh, the those totals and the other costs put together. Then, of course, the spending for that wouldn't or shouldn't. Uh, uh, be an increase of uh, the total of that spending if it is it wouldn't be by very much or otherwise it will be covered in the national insurance contributions and so on so effectively that will fluctuate where that will be a monetary um, means of, of of monitoring the spending or the requirements actually so the same could be said for ambulances the same could be said for uh, hospitals and so on surgeries and so on the costs of those in the same way added together uh, which of course uh, one could say well you know the cost varies and um, of course it does but with an annual statement um, provided each year or I don't know what it's like for the public sector but um, the, the, the last year's would be a, a certain percentage less or more than the year before and the year before that etc so effectively that would be how i would do it and i would think i would think i don't know i would think that if the government or a party will not commit to extra spending it's because they've added uh, multiplied and uh, calculated the costs and said it exceeds that and of course one doesn't manage uh, a manager uh, they have to manage themselves and of course the directorates and the the uh so on would uh 
uh, have to uh, I interact with that which again I can go on all day about it but uh, that's how I think it, uh, it it should work or I would hope that it does work as that would be more accurate so let's see if anyone will call for equivalent to an audit on the public spending on the public purse. Wishing you all well. Goodbye.